All right, so um, we are here uh, with uh, Ben Wallace, who is an eighth grader at St. Luke's. How long have you been at St. Luke's, Ben? I've been at St. Luke's probably since uh, K3. We nice. Okay, so, so basically, as far back as you can remember, you've been a Wildcat. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, now you have uh, a pretty important role with uh, the St. Luke's Wildcat football team, which is what? T is being team manager. Okay. So help, help us understand what that means, because I don't think a lot of folks really know. Well, really it sounds like a big... It sounds like a big position, and even though it's not really as big as it sounds, it's still kind of huge. Mm -hmm. Pretty much you manage all the materials, like during practices you manage, manage footballs, pads, blocks. Uh, I forgot what they were called. There are these little bag things that you do, that you'd use to uh, block mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that the coaches use. You pretty much manage all that material, and then you also manage uh, water, filling it up, make sure they have waters when they come out for breaks. And then during the games, it's pretty much the same, except instead of me managing waters, waters come out in this cooler, this gigantic cooler. Sometimes there's two of them because of how fast we can run through waters throughout an entire game. Sure. So pretty much I grab one of the crates that we have actually here at the cage, right outside by the trash can. There are these crates and they're stacked up. I grab one of them. And for today, since in the way game, I'm taking it with me, and we're going to be putting waters in that, filling up. Usually, holds about I think about 24 waters in one in one crate. Okay. So it's pretty easy to be able to then drag it from group to from place to place. So between sort of managing the hydration for the players, um, the the equipment and things that are needed for the players and the coaches, mm -hmm. you sort of take care of the things that might be behind the scenes. Yes. So that they can all focus on what should be at the top of their list, right? Mm -hmm. I try my best to be as encouraging to anyone, everyone in this locker room, both here in middle school and I guess high school to everyone in juniors and seniors. I try and be as encouraging as I can, you know, get mad, kind of pep, pep them up, right? be able to get them to knock people down. Do you think that they appreciate that? I think they do. If J I mean, Jake Cassie, bless him, he's one of our best players at the second. Me and him have grown really pro close, same to look for Ty, Tyler Bracknell and uh, Jake Jake Nutsi. A lot of people in that room I'm really close with. Okay. Because my brother used to actually be a part of the team, but then last year he graduated. Right. So pretty much through him, I've gotten really close with a lot of these players. So I, I can tell you that I've heard from a number of people that the players do appreciate uh, what you do. They do value having you as a part of the program and they see your contribution as one that's important. Yes. To the success. Yeah, I try to be as encouraging as I can and even during the times when I'm in a bad mood, I always try and pep up myself up. Good for everyone. So Coach Lee is one of my favorite people here at St. Luke's. Um, he, he, he seems to me like, uh, like a really good guy. Am I wrong about that? Mm, you are not wrong. He is coached now actually two team or at two schools. He used to coach at an old school, I forgot what it was, but he coached last uh, co not last year, he coached previously at another school and now he's here. So he must have he has a lot of experience with it. Yeah. Since he's been doing it for quite a while. So I wonder how many other um, managers there are that have their own locker. Because I don't know if you can see this, but mm -hmm. we're actually sitting in front of your locker. Mm -hmm. right. I remember uh, the last team manager we had previously, his name was Carrington. I forgot uh, which college he went to, but he used to be on the team uh, uh, during before twenty the class of 2020. And he pretty much uh, got injured and had to do team manager okay. because he couldn't play football anymore due to his injury. He had a blast with it. And honestly, I still think of him when I do this position because nice. he is one that I just think of so, every some time. So in a way, he's someone that sort of inspired you to want to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, keep, keep that in mind, right? Yes, because sir. whether you know it or not, there are students that are watching you right now. Really? Of course, right? And, and you may inspire them to want to do this in the same way that Carrington inspired you. Mm -hmm. So, um, I also understand that you have an interest 
in something that's sort of unusual, at least the, the degree to which you're interested in, that is the weather. You're very interested in the weather, is that right? Mm -hmm. People know me a lot for hurricanes, and even though it's sort of tornadoes, I've kind of grown into an interest for hurricanes. Has there ever been a Hurricane Bennett? Uh, I wouldn't doubt it, since the naming list has been out since 1950. I wouldn't doubt that there's been a Bennett, a Benjamin, or Benny out there. Okay, somewhere. or maybe even a Hurricane Wallace? We should go back and find out. Maybe. Yeah. I know there's been a Hurricane Melissa, which is my mom's name. There, ha there was one back in 2019 that hit uh, New England. What about Hurricane Jeff? Has there ever been a Hurricane Jeff? I think there has the, Je the name Jeff or Jeffrey has floated around in a couple of naming lists. They're pretty much how it works is there's six naming lists. Uh, list one, list two, list three, list four, list five, list six, list six. Pretty much they all span six years from when they start. So and then they start over again? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And then this year we used to go, the National Hurricane Center used to go with Greek names, but for when we got to the end of the naming list. Right. So, but since last year we had hurricanes Ada and Iota both completely destroying Nicaragua and everything near Honduras, last year they decided to change it up. So instead of using Greek names, we now have a supplementary naming list, which one as a backup. So instead of it being a list seven, it's more of a backup naming list. How hard do you think it would be for us to get them to add Wildcat to the list so we can have a hurricane Wildcat? It would probably be pretty difficult. I think they do it through uh, priests who have been named that, but I oh. think that was a rumor. I'm not actually sure how. They I don't do think it. there's ever been any like Father Wildcat. I would. I wish there was though. That'd be pretty nice. To Maybe have. Father Jamie will agree to change his name. <laughs> Maybe that'd actually be pretty fun. I don't think his wife would approve that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool though. Just having a hurricane wildcat or probably right. storm wildcat just floating around. That would be awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't just float around, right? Yeah. It would come right to Mobile, and then it would it would it would impact all the other school campuses, right? Except, schools, for, some except for ours, right? It would it would go around us. It'd be like a miracle. We'd be right in the eye of it. Uh huh. And then we'd cut through the eye wall and go through the weakest point. <laughs> What is the best thing about St. Luke's? I think the best thing about St. Luke's is really the teachers and the faculty. It's like they all have really good interests. They ha all want to have you in their best care. And, you know, even when you make mistakes, like you miss a homework assignment or you didn't do so well on a test, they're there to help you yeah. with it. And it's really easy. They make it really easy to, ha to bounce back from stuff like that. I remember... Uh, Miss Anderson from last year, she was really, uh, from last year, the, yeah, when I was in seventh grade, she was really uh, good with helping us bounce back from a bad grade. Like, you know, you didn't, you maybe didn't do so well in a slideshow presentation. She'd be there to help you improve. Nice. And it was really, the stuff like that is what I really like about this school. It's just everyone coming here and having an interest and in wanting to be able to help everyone. So Ben, I understand that your mom is involved here at St. Luke's as well. Tell me about uh, what she does. She is, she kind of, people call her a teacher and as much as she doesn't want to be really preferred to as a teacher, I think she's really is a teacher. She helps kids with disabilities, you know, if they have ADHD, maybe have dyslexia, anything like that. Any or, or just need some support. Mm -hmm. right? Any learning disabilities or need in, need in shape, she will be there to help you. That's what, with accommodations such as being able to have extended time, mm -hmm. being able to get help from teachers, and then having an entire class period dedicated to it where you get to have board meetings, you know, talk about subjects, be able to get help, you know, be able to communicate. And she basically started that program here at St. Luke's, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's one that has been part, part of school for me and part of school for her for a really long time. And for a lot of students here that benefit from that. Mm -hmm. You're proud of your mom, aren't you? Mm, I really am. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. deserves every single bit of credit she gets. Yeah, she does. She works hard. I agree. I agree. So, well, thanks for talking with me today, Matt. Yes, sir. Really enjoyed it's it. It's an honor. Go Wildcats. Go Wildcats.